This morning on Daybreak, returning to the classroom, just what are the plans? Plus, Lewis and Clark Public Health putting a target on large gatherings. It's Wednesday, July 8th, and your morning news starts right now. From MTN News, this is Daybreak. Well, good morning and thank you for joining us on this Wednesday morning. I can't believe this week is going by so fast. I know. Favorite day of the week. Yes, it's Trivia Wednesday. But before I get into trivia, yesterday was an active day for around the state. Large baseball size hail near Judith Gap and also a tornado touchdown near Winnet. And that is in Petroleum County. As of now, no reports of any damage, but I'm still going to continue to monitor that. Right now, the Doppler Network, clear and dry. For around the state today, some areas will have some lingering showers, but you still have time to go to our KTVH Facebook page and submit your response. Which city in Montana has the warmest temperature ever recorded? A. Kalispell, or is it B. Glendive C. View, or is D. Townsend Phoenix said Kalispell? That's her final answer. It's no changing. No? <laughs> Temperatures in the 50s, Lewistown 47, also our friends in Butte and also Dillon. For today, the win will win tomorrow. Nice day to bring out the boat may you even want to go golfing and by the weekend it will be dry and sunny back to you so last week both governor's office and the state superintendent of the schools released guidelines for how montana public schools can reopen this fall but the school officials had already come up with their own guidelines and they say they'll consider all three plans as they decide how to reopen mtn's mike dennison spoke with education officials this week tells us what those plans may look like. 